What up, everybody? What's going on? Welcome to another unboxing video. I am Patrick Cloud. This is my knife. This is my unboxing knife. Um, big shout out to Popcorn World. I've been getting so many gifts lately. And, um, you know, instead of just taking a picture of it, I just said, why not do some, uh, some unboxing videos uh, and shout them out also. So you can find this. Uh, it's called Popcorn World. It, they have all over 250 flavors made with premium ingredients. You guys, if you guys are a fan of All Def, you probably heard Tahir and Kev talking about these. Um, I'm not very good at checking my inbox, so I did not. I, I, I missed several messages. Uh, shout out to Popcorn World. They finally sent me a care package. And uh, to be honest, their flavors are so wild. I was like, I was on the website, they asked me to choose my flavors, and I was like, can you guys just choose for me? Like, just give me the, the wildest stuff you got. And uh, I love stuff like this. I will, do a, I will do a little challenge, challenge test. Everybody talks about how nervous I make them when I cut the box. Oh wow, okay, so off top, they did not pull any punches. It is filled to the brim. Jesus, what do we got? This is Flaming Hot Cheeto popcorn, okay? Hot wings with ranch, yes, yes. Little mini packs, jerk, jerk popcorn. Cool Ranch, Dirty Dill, Blueberry Muffin. Oh my God, this is about to be, it's about to be epic. Snake Bite. Tastes like a snake bite. PB&J Grape. Oh my God, I'm about to be in heaven. Loaded Baked Potato, Dark Chocolate, Barbecue Bacon. This is like um, Willy Wonka. By the way, I only took one layer out so far. Crab legs. Crab leg popcorn. I might have to lead with that. Um, PB&J strawberry, different jelly types. Movie theater butter, nice. They got some classic in here. Now we got more big boys. Dill pickle, mesquite barbecue. Jalapeno spinach, cheese-coated caramel, gingerbread, blueberry cheesecake on these hoes, cinnamon toast crunch, butter salted caramel, Oreo cheesecake, Snickers, and strawberry cheesecake. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep a lot of these in here, because dang. I thought they were gonna send me one or two, maybe threats. They didn't send me everything they got. Um, I'm gonna try one, and then you guys are gonna choose the next one. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull you guys. I gotta start with crab legs. I mean, I don't know where to go from there. Uh. I think the next is between jerk, because I've never seen that before. Okay, let me get a little, little bar, popcorn bar going. There's so many, I didn't know where to put them. Hot wings with ranch. Oh, this is gonna be joyous. This is a joyous occasion. Thank you to Popcorn World. I am going to be Slightly big boned, slightly big boned. It's okay, it's okay. All right, shout out to the village who pulled up as always. Um, I'ma put what flavor next? Little pole. I'm gonna go with hot wings and ranch. What else we got? Loaded baked potato, jerk. 
jerk loaded baked potato we got oh my god pb and j well that's that's on the sweet side let's go with uh nasty side now dirty dill and bbq bacon all right so i'm gonna start that poll while i eat these crab leg popcorn from popcorn world this was this was quite a quite a treat you guys man they didn't send me to uh, the whole thing Got a nice little, nice little smizzle. All wow. Mmm. That is a deep, deep popcorn flavor. I can't even really describe it. You definitely, definitely taste the Old Bay in there. Mmm. It is giving some crab leg vibes. It's not what you think, though. Which is why it was interesting at first. Like, you think that you're going to bite into it and just taste nothing but crab. But it's like... It still has that... Cheesy popcorn flavor, but man, it almost tastes like the old bay and the almost like the 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 broth. I don't know, but it's not crabby how you would think. No. Love it, love it. All right, let's see what you guys threw in the chat. Hot wings. Okay, on the same page. I would have absolutely tried that second. This is the first of the the bigums. The big old boys. Mm. All right, so this is... Popcorn World's Hot Wings with Ranch. This is so weird. It's, it's really how I, I pictured Willy Wonka. Oh, wow. It's how I pictured Willy Wonka did the... Uh, those those candies that had like a whole meal in them, the one that Violet ate and turned into a blueberry. And she was oh it was gum, and she chewed like a full course meal. It's so wild because it's like popcorn texture, but it, and it tastes like hot wings. Not just hot wings, but specific hot wings. Like I'm getting Cheesecake Factory vibes, <laughs> like that specific hot wing buffalo sauce. And it do taste like it was dipped in ranch. Super weird. It's okay, Hazel. You can't have any. I'm trying to claw her way in. Wow. That. I actually like that even better than the um, the crab legs. All right. Let's see what you guys had in second place. Jerk. Ooh. Interesting. I'm going to have an interesting uh, soup of flavors in my stomach. I can't wait to get to the dessert portion. Oh! We got jerk pick, jerk popcorn down. Okay. What kind of Jamaican magic is this? This is actually, oh my God. Ooh, it's spicy.
This was made on the beaches of Jamaican by a shaman with a skull necklace. I already know. Because this is... Wow. Me bomba clot. Everything iry. Gonna turn you right around. Well, I feel like a Jamaican auntie with the arm flaps made that. That was... That's spicy. That is spicy. Dirty dill. Ooh. Hang on. Where's my water? I'm gonna have to grab the... I'm gonna have to grab the water. Woo! Jerk popcorn. Is no joke. No joke. All right, now we got the dirty dill. You dirty dill, you. Hey, I have a real quick dag joke. What did the cool pickle uh, say to the cucumber? Hey, yo, shoddy, what's the dill? All right, this is dill pickle popcorn. Ooh. They definitely nailed the the pickle flavor. Mmm. Little sour. Little sour. The weirdest thing about all of these is that you put them down and you take a second and it feels like the last thing you bit was what the flavor was. Like, now that all the popcorn, I swallowed all the popcorn, like, it feels like I just ate a pickle. And I'm left scared and confused. Now we got the loaded baked potato by Popcorn World. Whew! I'm never, I'm not gonna eat anything else for several weeks. I got a cool like bomb shelters amount of popcorn just in case I had to open this one hella respectfully because your boy don't want roaches all right loaded baked potato shut up doing this what is happening right now I literally tasted the bacon first then the cheese then the potatoes oh that is this is weird I, I just have to put that one down it's good but It's a little on the freaky side. It's messing with my senses. It's really messing with my senses. I feel like I'm eating something else. Like, is this the future? Is this what the Jetsons was talking about? Is this where we headed? Just popcorn of anything? Here, it's chicken fried steak with a side of asparagus. And a little bit later on, you're gonna taste apple pie for dessert. All right, next up we got barbecue bacon. Oh. Oh. Oh no, not this one. Well, that's a lot of bacon. Oh, that is a lot of bacon. It's like a pig had a bacony fist. And just shoved it in my mouth. Oh. Okay. 
Not a fan of one. It's a pretty good, um, it's a pretty good, uh, ratio. Right, I'm gonna celebrate all the, separate all of the separate, the, the desserty ones, and start with the savory. So let me start this new poll. Next, flavors with a Z. So you know I'm coming from a, a hip hop perspective. I already did dill. Let's check the big guys. Mesquite. Jalapeno spinach. That's a good one. Uh, salted caramel. Ooh, gingerbread. So I'm going to, ooh, cheese-coated caramel. I've never had cheese and caramel together. All right, so I'm going to do the uh, desserty ones last. And uh, this will probably be the last round of savory, just so I don't have an interesting night on the toilet. But, um, yeah, let's put all these over here. And let's go with... Flaming Hot, Movie Theater, basic, you know, the, the, the classics, Cool Ranch, and interesting, Snake Bite, whatever that is. Um, while we wait, um, good deal, I'm gonna pass on the mesquite. The hot wings. <sighs> While we start, well, actually, I could just look at the results live. Okay, snake bite. I mean, it's not even. It's not even close. You guys don't care about me at all. That's crazy. Uh, all right. Looks like we're doing snake bite last. You, you poisonous mfers. Everybody, snake, snake bite is through the roof. That could have been Viper Venom, and you guys just want that. Well, you know what? Inverse rules. Uh, uh, now we're going with the inverse of what you guys want. So, movie theater first. Ha, didn't see that coming. Threw a monkey wrench in your little plan. I know that some, some people in my chat are secretly out to get me. bag. Alright, so this is the classic movie theater popcorn. I mean, they had to nail this, right? Man. If you got me over here tasting Ethiopian food and oxtails, I figured the uh, regular popcorn would be on point. All right, next up, Cool Ranch. Yeah, you guys don't like that little switch up, huh? That's what you get. That's what you get. Let me uh, go for the snake bite. Snake bite. That's what you guys, that's what went through the roof over hot wings. Bacon, bacon, and eggs. That'd be a funny collab. Popcorn World, if you're watching, let's do a bacon, bacon, and eggs. You, it, it, it makes sense. I got a little song. Oh, wow. Let me find out. These are less calories than Doritos Cool Ranch. You might as well make the switch. If you're addicted to Cool Ranch Doritos, this could be your nicotine patch. Be like, yeah, I'm kind of off the Doritos right now. I'm just doing this Cool Ranch Popcorn. I'm gonna be done though. I'm gonna be done real quick. That's a strong flavor. Very strong. Very good. Ooh. A couple people saying they can't wait to try it. Go ahead and go ahead and order you some over 250 flavors. That makes no sense. If you just told me to make up 
as many popcorn flavors as I can, I'd probably stop around 40. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. All right, next up on this uh, flawed polling system of evil people, Flaming Hot. Flaming Hot. The most um, business savvy and networking ingredient or flavor in the history of culinary. Maybe since flour. Because Hot Cheetos hit the scene, blew up as a chip, then networked its way into the kitchen. Now people are coating their Thanksgiving turkeys with it. Oh, it's everywhere. All right, Flaming Hot. Hey. Kind of on the same lines of what I said with Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch tastes him exactly. Ooh. Ooh, I like these. If you're addicted to hot Cheetos, get this. You'll soon realize you're not addicted to hot Cheetos. You're addicted to hot Cheeto powder. And if it's coated the right way on something else that's fun to eat, like popcorn. Okay. Hang it. This bag is probably going to get completely destroyed. Let me move on. There's a there's sadness behind all this happiness because I know when I cut the camera I'm going to be alone with all of this popcorn and it's going to be it's going to be something. It's going to be something serious. If the next time you see me on camera, I'm slightly red or slightly orange, or you see dust particles in my hair, don't ask questions. Just know some very sad things happened, okay? Please don't leave me alone with all this popcorn. It's going to be a thing. All right. We've reached the end of the savory section. A lot going on in on the old uh, taste buds. But let's keep it going. If I wasn't, uh, I'm glad I'm doing this on camera because I'd probably just do a little sad personal unboxing. If not, because I would definitely want to try all these flavors because I'm curious like this. All right. Woo! Very strong smell. I have no idea. I've smelled what I'm smelling before, but I, I can't place it. It's called snake bite. What is that? I can't, I can't tell you. Is it cumin? Rosemary? I know what this is. This is freaking me out. What is this? Ah, oh. <coughs> it's a lot of dust in my, a lot of dust in my nostrils. Ah, snake bite. I gotta look it up. Oh. Oh. OK. 
Okay. Ghost pepper. Oh. <coughs> oh, mother. Are you serious? Oh, that's what it is. You mother. Oh, you got to you got to properly label that. You got to properly label that, fam. Oh, the ghost pepper powder all in my nose. Ah, oh, that's the worst of the peppers. That's the worst of the peppers. It's the worst of the peppers. Oh. Okay. Crisis averted. Snake bite? <laughs> Alright, just one more. Noodles. I've smelled this on noodles. Ah. Uh, ha. Huh. Okay. Let's go to desserts, shall we? Oh. Uh. Okay. <sighs> that was an experience. That was an experience. All right, now let's have let's let's move on to the cute stuff. Oh. Uh. Cute stuff only, cute stuff only. Ah, shoot. Before we do that, I missed a very important one. Jalapeno spinach. <sighs> okay, you know what? I'm gonna try this Oh, I do the next, the next poll. All right, now for the dessert popcorn. Oops, I put desert popcorn. Dessert popcorn. We got PB and J strawberry. PB and J grape. Cinnamon toast crunchers. Blueberry cheesecake on these hoes. And gingerbread. Let's start with those. All right, so this should be the last upsetting one, possibly. <laughs> yeah, my stomach is punching the air right now, which is funny because my stomach has no access to the air. Funny visual, though. Ah, you guys don't know how to seal your popcorn up, which is good because nobody wants stale popcorn. I will give them credit. It does taste like jalapeno and spinach. It tastes just like that. But I was immediately like, why would I want those two together? I've never had jalapeno and spinach together. It tasted just like it. But, wasn't a fan of that one. Yeah. Definitely not a fan of that one. I need like a palate cleanser or something. Oh, I know what can cleanse my palate. Movie theater popcorn. I think that's why they threw it in there. You gotta go back to the base. <laughs> okay. So that's what base level popcorn good. No, you know. Move on from there. Very close between Cinnamon Toast Crunch and Blueberry Cheesecake, and no one gave a damn about the peanut butter and jelly. Okay, so. Oh, I think it's still going. It is still open. 
Um, I'm gonna vote. It's my stomach. I'm gonna vote. I'm gonna vote for. Boom. Let's mix it up. Bam. Woo! My stomach doing backflips over here. Okay. It's looking like it's very close. Cinnamon Toast Crunch gets it. All right, so we got the Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Ah, popcorn style. There's no way this could be bad. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Here's why it tastes a little bit better than cinnamon. Cin cinnamon. Got me tongue quiet. Here's why it's better than cinnamon toast crunch. Cinnamon toast crunch is hard and flat. This make it taste like if cinnamon toast crunch was like baked into a bread. So like, ooh. Mmm, you just taste the fluffy, the fluffy cinnamon. It tastes like a... Ooh, it just tastes like a big fluffy baked bread that cinnamon toast crunch flavor. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Come on now. Blueberry cheesecake. Up next. Let's get it. Let me check in on my Twitch. What's up, guys? Holy hell. My bad. I missed you on YouTube. Tony Mac with the insane donation on YouTube. Sheesh. Happy belated birthday to me indeed. Thank you, Tony. Golly. That's a, that is a lot. Thank you. To Tony. This blueberry cheesecake is dedicated to Tony. I would just like to keep eating this, please. I picked I picked a good one to um, dedicate to you, Tony Mac. It's my favorite. Imagine just waking up in a bed of cheesecake. Just you just up to your neck and fluffy cheesecake. And then you turn on the air conditioning. And the air conditioning just spreads a cool breeze of blueberry through the bed. And you are perfectly warm from the cheesecake, but cool from the blueberry. And then your favorite song start playing. We do a little dance. Woo! And then a butler gives you mimosas. You feel me? That is insane we got popcorn world in the chat you know i'm you know i am enjoying this mm. <sighs> i almost started getting inappropriate i'm sorry i'm glad i ended the scenario right there but i almost uh yeah yeah, that was a good little visual, right? You want to fall asleep in some cheesecake, some cheesecake bed? Shout out to uh, Kanui with the gifts. Thank you so much. Okay, what's next on this poll? What you guys, what are you guys setting me up for next? Um, gingerbread. Okay. Honestly, was never a fan of the gingerbread men growing up. Thought it was weird to make a person and then eat him face first. And then make a house that then you knock down and eat after you introduce the person that you just gifted. It's just a very weird way to play God, you know. When you play God and then destroy everything immediately, like, damn. All right, gingerbread.
I just feel like a little, a little white girl on Christmas, you know? Just nutmeg in the air, roaring fire, papa out back chopping trees. I just took a whole fresh pan of gingerbread man out the stove. Mother drinking too much. Cussing somebody out on the phone. You know, real Christmas shit. In my in my mind, that happens at for white people. This is good. I'm not a fan of gingerbread, but that is good popcorn. That is good popcorn. It took me somewhere, you know? Cleanse the pal. Alright. I'm gonna do... Ooh! Ooh, there's so many! Oh my god, Popcorn World, you shouldn't have. Y'all see me big. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I was engulfed in deliciousness. Hazel, you cannot have any. I haven't done the research, but I'm sure you, you'll die. Okay. Um, PBJ, strawberry, and grape both got the same amount of weak votes. So I'm going to go with my personal favorite first, which is strawberry. Love PB&J. You guys are disrespectful. Come on. It's peanut buttery too. No crazy visual for this one. It's just like eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's it. Wow. A, a good one, too. Good peanut butter to strawberry jelly ratio. That's a favorite. I, I gotta get through these fast, because it's like, I don't want to spend too much time on one bag. Alright. Same deal. Grape jelly. There you go. Okay. Much like a um, peanut butter and jelly sandwich with grape jelly. Not as good. <laughs> Not as good. I've always been a strawberry jelly fan myself. But you can't go wrong with peanut butter and jelly. If you grew up on grape jelly, that's the one for you. Mmm. We are at our last poll, ladies and gentlemen. Our last poll for the evening. Um, let's do it like this. Last call for pop kahal. Whatever. Blueberry muffins. Dark chocolate. Oreo cheesecake. Snickers. And strawberry cheesecake. Now, if this is anything like that other cheesecake one, I'm about to be a little much. Shout out to Coco Gemini. For the resub. Appreciate it. Four months. I really have to figure out how to figure out how to see new subscribe new subscribers. For some reason I'm only seeing when you resub. So for everybody who's new, hello. Welcome. I'm sorry I can't acknowledge you until you re up.
Alright. Let's see where, where we at. Shout out to Super Casual Boom for the biddies. So take your time, people out here, out there, animal faces, ASMR shit. So do what you want. Alright. Make sure you spell check. <laughs> do a quick little run through. Shout out to Popcorn World yet again. They in the chat said if you want to crank the flavor up a notch on the sweet ones, you can stick them in the freezer. Popcorn doesn't freeze. I was literally just about to ask that because I see that the dark chocolate, I just cut the AC on. It's a little warm in here from the lights. Um, but if that, that's it. All these are going in the freezer. I am Glahad. Thank you, world. Uh, let's uh, let's check in on the poll. Oreo cheesecake by a landslide, which means, bam, 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 reverse poll. Ha ha ha! I got you guys again. We're gonna close out with the Oreo cheesecake. And start with the stuff that you guys didn't want to see. Reality television style. <laughs> uh, so it looks like nobody wanted dark chocolate. So it's the opener. So it's the opener. Got to keep, keep the chat on their feet. On their toes. So, chocolate popcorn, always a hit. So I was really wondering, like, what kind of chocolate were they going to do? And I'm actually happy to say I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Tastes like a chocolate donut. I don't know if you guys have ever had the cake donuts, the brown ones. They also have a layer of brown icing on it. Tastes just like that. Um, all right, next up, blueberry muffins. Shout out to the talented Precious Hall, who, in my mind, I, I just like the idea of ever since she's been on All Deaf, blueberries have seen like a spike in sales. I don't know if that's true, but it would be cool if there was some blueberry CEO in a blue suit going like, man, ever since this Great Taste episode dropped, people are buying blueberries. It's good muffin right there. It's good muffin. Now they could have just said blueberry popcorn, but the muffin is a whole new thing. It's like a layer of like you really taste the muffiny part. The fluffy doughiness. Alright, let's move back to um strawberry cheesecake. I also didn't eat yet today, so. <laughs> Thank God. This is my lunch. So we got a very hefty portion of strawberry cheesecake. Again, thank you to Popcorn World. Okay, here's why this is a winner. Mmm. So it's a hot day, right? Summer, fresh after school. You're riding home on your bike. You get cornered by a bunch of big fifth graders beat up, savagely beat up, and robbed, right? Now you bloody, you sweaty, you had a horrible day, you walking home, how could today, how can today, hey Tom, get any worse? And then you hear that ice cream truck, that racist, racist tune pulling down the block. The guy stops, he says, you look like you had a rough day. And then he hands you 
a strawberry shortcake popsicle? Come on now. You remember how I could have started the story right there actually, but all that other context adds into why it would taste so good, you know, cuz you're hot, you got beat up, you're in a you're in a bad place and you got that strawberry shortcake popsicle. That's that's this flavor. That's this flavor. You know? After all, and and during all of that, you get that strawberry shortcake. Okay. Sorry, I like setting scenes. I feel like it makes you connect with me better. Hazel, no, you cannot come in and eat. You might die. This is the headline. Snickers and Oreo cheesecake. Let's go with the the sub headliner. This is the guy on the Coachella lineup that don't got the biggest text, but it got like a, a big enough text so you know that he's popular. They keep it. They keep their packaging very tight. <laughs> All right, Snickers. It's very tightly packed in here. Okay. Oh, these are these are getting frozen. Tonight. I don't have to tell you guys it tastes like Snickers. I feel like I've been saying that this whole time in different tones and inflections. It tastes like what they're talking about. So, if you have an addiction to candy bars or Snickers, switch over to this. Let this be your little little nicotine patch. I'm going to stop. I'm going to move on. That's really good. It's popcorn. Tastes just like Snickers. You know what I mean? All right, let me... Come on. Come on, you got it. Get it. Get it close. Yeah. There you go. We have reached the headliner now this is not Oreo popcorn which is why I'm glad that it's second to last it is Oreo cheesecake pop popcorn which is not something I hope anyone has every day um, so far the cheesecake ones flavors are the ones that made me close my eyes okay so, we had blueberry, we had strawberry, um, I thought we had another one. Yeah, we had blueberry and strawberry. Um, we also had the muffins, but you did, you missed the, uh, you missed the crab legs, I went for that first. Um, so you could rewind when we're done, but we are at the last part. Sorry. All right, so one thing is they seal these things like astronauts. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I really don't want no air getting through here. All right. So I fingered my way into a little hole in the bag. Watch it. Watch the dirtiness. Oreo cheesecake. Shout out to the whole Oreo vegan movement. What if God was one of us? 
just as one, like one of us. Just a stranger on the bus, trying to make his way home. This is it. This one is it. Wow. Oh, wow. I don't know if y'all are a fan of Oreos. But just imagine walking into a really, really nice building. You're like, what is this place? I got this secret invite. It says, meet me on the rooftop. Said building is three levels. Ground, middle, floor. You take a building to the roof, you realize you're standing on a giant Oreo. Chocolate, middle chocolate. You're on the roof. And on top is Jesus Christ waiting to challenge you to a Frisbee off. So you're playing Frisbee on top of a giant Oreo with Jesus Christ and the frisbee is an Oreo. That's weirdly how these taste. Hmm. I feel bad for people who just can't eat stuff like this. You know? Well, I gotta wake up at 5 a.m. and go to the gym. Mm, how much gluten is in that? Let me check my heart rate while I look at it. You know? <sighs> well. This was something, wasn't it? That would be a good Oreo commercial, wouldn't it? Okay, I would just like to take this time to thank two people. Number one, my stomach for enduring such an unplanned jumping of flavors that are all from completely different sides of the universe. You don't even have jerk and what are, what are some of these? Loaded baked potato in the same week. So the fact that it was like jerk, crab legs, barbecue bacon, cinnamon toast crunch, peanut butter jelly sandwich. Ah, oh, what is happening? And I'm glad I didn't mix it up. I'm glad I mixed it up. Dessert, savory. So thank you very, very much to my stomach. Secondly, huge and gigantic thank you to Popcorn World. Um, this is an, a very innovative company. I've heard nothing but good things, and now I know for myself. They got over 250 flavors. All you got to do is go to their website, doingtheworldofflavor.com. That's some good... I'm, I'm big on puns, as y'all know. 100% real ingredients, 250 flavors. Go to doingtheworldofflavor.com. Big shout out to Popcorn World. Um... I, I, I 100% did not expect a care package like this. I thought I was going to get one, maybe two or three flavors. Um, but, yeah, I, I definitely had to, you know, since they hit me with the plethora of flavors, I wanted to make sure that I showed you guys and gave my honest opinion um, out of these, what seems like dozens of flavors. There's only, uh, like, one or two that I um, was a little much for me. And uh, that's not too much of a surprise because I'm not really into... Uh, the food that it was like so you know it's not really even popcorn world's thing I just wasn't really a fan of that food so it's it's crazy the Willy Wonka level of uh, accuracy that they got with these tastes so I'm about to put these in the freezer probably lay down <laughs> um, make sure you um, check me out on zooming with the homies tonight <coughs> on, on Tears channel and I definitely will be on Twitch later today 
I'll probably pull up with more of these flavors to be snacking on them just in case you guys missed uh, this one. But again, uh, thank you to Popcorn World. Thank you to The Village for pulling up as always. I'm Patrick Cloud, and this was another unboxing video. See y'all.